Kumo 206 calling. Apply, uh, please. Contact me. Kirian Werner, surgeon, killed in war action. Maleva Kerstein, doctor of biochemistry, killed in automobile accident. Both persons have required characteristics and have been incarnated by our envoys. They will contact you. Remember, success of mission depends on exploiting to the full the superstitions prevalent among the Earth creatures. The first objective is Blaustadt Fairground. <laughs> This is the world we have to conquer. Bombs? Of course. We could even explode their nuclear arsenal. How much time do we have? People in the mystical regions of Transylvania, the only way to destroy him was to plunge a wooden stake in his heart. His magic, hypnotic power died with him. It was inherited only by those like myself, descendants of people who were attacked and contaminated by the vampire. For a few coins, I shall hypnotize you and read your future in your unseeing eye. Love, passion, jealousy. Remember what I told you. The passions and... Who will be the first to try? Don't worry, she'll take care of you. Ah, here's a customer. A lady who's not afraid to know the truth. Beautiful women are like powerful magnets. We shall use them to attract scientists, generals, statesmen, with their vital secrets. So far, we've nothing to go on. No fingerprints, no known enemies. Looks like the work of a ghost. Let's start by ruling out ghosts. What about the gelatin substance found on the stake? 
We send it and the victim's clothing to the main laboratory. And? Well, in a few days, we'll have some results. There's one detail that intrigues me. The absence of the skeleton exhibited by Fairzar in his show. Remember the legend. The only way to revive a vampire is to withdraw the stake from his heart. As far as I'm concerned, that skeleton is no more than a showman's gimmick. There must be a logical reason for its disappearance. You know, in this part of the country... As you can see, Henry, I'm completely snowed under with paperwork. Why don't you see what you can dig up for me? Right, sir. But don't bring any vampires into this office. Why not? I'm anemic already. Oh. You shall call her alone. The first of a group of beautiful women who will blindly obey my orders. Prince of Darkness sleeps soundly. Excellent material for our research. Do you think human beings may become contaminated if his blood is injected into their veins? We'll soon find out. <laughs> Good afternoon. Could you help me a moment? I'd like to, sir, but it's nearly closing time. I'm Inspector Toberman. Criminal investigation. In what way can I help? Do you have anything written by Professor Ulrich von Ferenczalam? That's a coincidence. No one has asked for one of his books in years. And you're the second person who's asked in only the last couple of hours. Can you describe the other person to me? It was really a couple. A tall, good-looking man and a very beautiful girl. The man was gray-haired and distinguished, and the girl was strange. She had a very hard look in her eyes. Thanks. Go upstairs. That's where we have the archive section. And then ask for Carl. He'll be glad to help you find it. Thank you very much. Incision penetrating the endocardium, causing damage to the mitral valve. I call that a stab in the heart. I have something else to show you. Right. Have to send it to the main laboratory for a more exhaustive analysis. All right, as quickly as possible. This may be the break we've been hoping for. Don't jump to conclusions, Henry. Apart from this gelatin, can you give me one shred of concrete evidence that ties in this murder with that of the showman at the fairground? Yes. Anthology of the Monsters by Professor Ulrich von Ferenczalan. It's a study of the various legends of man-made monsters. The Living Mummy, reputed to be somewhere in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. Nosferatu, the medieval vampire in the remote regions of Transylvania. The Golem, a giant of clay created in the ghetto of Prague. 
The missing pages. Thanks. Apparently, these pages refer to an artificial Thank human you. being created by Faraxel and himself. Listen to the ending. I wish to create a perfect human being, selecting the best organs from different corpses. But God punished me for my presumption, and, and fate caused me to insert the brain of a murderer into the human being which I believed perfect. Today I shall blow up the castle and bury myself with this terrible monster. May God have another nightmare creature, the werewolf. Werewolf? Yes, you see, he was influenced by the full moon. In order to release him from this curse, it's necessary to shoot a silver bullet into his heart. Werewolf. Something you remember? I think so. I think when I was a child, my grandmother or my nurse, I don't know which, told me about the werewolf. He's a man who's transformed into a wolf under the influence of a full moon. I'm sure there's another word to describe it. Lycanthropy? Uh, that's it. Lycanthropy. My dear, that's no more than a country superstition. Yes, but... Flowers are withered, but the body of Valdemar the werewolf is uncorrupted, waiting to receive life. The silver bullet in his heart only immobilized him, left him seemingly dead. His death is permanent only if the bullet is fired by a woman who loves him enough to die with. You were given the injection of the serum which will prevent him being transformed into a werewolf. You will be fully responsible for him. No human power can withstand Tajan of the Vampire. 
Or the mummy, a myrrh who obeys only the cabals of Egypt. Or the Frank Salon monster. We shall make thousands of them and turn them loose on the races of this planet. I experienced a strange sensation when I touched Valdemar's body. The same as I felt when I was together with Fezar. Is he a man or a monster? Both. The eternal dilemma of mankind. Good and evil. The paradox. Two murders in a peaceful town where nothing ever happens. Everyone expects results from us. And most of all, the mayor. Come in. Report from the laboratory, sir. Thank you. It's incredible. Scientists say that they can't identify the gelatin substance flying every test known to modern science. The molecular structure is unlike anything they have ever seen. I've got a hunch about this. Give me a free hand to carry out my own investigation. Oh, just for a few days. Go ahead, Henry. Try to find something concrete. Thanks. And good luck. Take you home? Oh, I've left my shawl back there. I'll get it. It was a full moon last night. I beg your pardon? Nothing. Anything else? There's a man who comes in here every night. They say he's bought the old monastery. Dr. Varnoff. Oh, there he is. Right. Thank you. Scotch and water. Right, sir. A harmless looking apparatus. It's used to make the guilty confess drag secrets from spies. Ultrasonic waves. Sounds so acute, they drill into the brain. On this occasion, we shall use it as a punishment. The escape of Valdemar would have endangered our plans. I trust this will be an example. Oh! <laughs> 
Pity is a weakness. Do not forget it. Contact made. The tomb of Tao Tep, the mummy, has now been located. Rocky side of Jebel Karib. Hypogeum of King Amun Ra. The reflection of light in the solid gold mirror transmits orders to the mummy. Come in, Martha. Oh, I was expecting a girlfriend. I thought it was her. <laughs> My name is Henry Toberman. I'm from the city police department. I'd like to question you about what happened last night. Come up, please. Excuse me just a moment. Henry Toberman. Sit down, please. So, you don't remember me, do you? I'm afraid I... You graduated three years ahead of me. Oh, but of course. But you were... I mean... Uh... <laughs> I know. Don't be afraid to say it. I was a skinny little girl with freckles, and you were the captain of a football team. Oh, that description doesn't fit you any longer. But to get back to business. About last night. I really don't expect you to believe me. Your colleagues didn't. I have a very open mind about this subject. Is there any further information you can tell me? Anything at all? Not about last night, but my father, Judge Sternberg, had an incredible experience when he was young. Yes? He personally knew a werewolf. Personally knew? I'd like very much to speak to your father. Come with us. No, no, no. Why no. not? Come on. No, Rahal, Tabu, Rahal.
Dr. Ivanov is directing his movements. As you see, sir, that's merely the official account of the attack on your daughter. But there was a full moon that night. And your daughter told me that you actually knew a werewolf. Yes, that's correct. It was an incredible experience. Something the mind refuses to accept. But it happened. My wife. She died seven years ago. Waldemar Daninsky was in love with the woman who was later to become my wife. Yes, he was a normal man like you, or I. A man of good family, cultivated, intelligent, until God knows why, he was afflicted with this horrible curse. He was transformed into a werewolf on the nights of the full moon. It is unthinkable that such horrors should be repeated. Yes, I'll help you all that I can. He was able to hypnotize you. One danger we must guard against. We are occupying the bodies of Earth people, creatures of a planet much younger than ours. Their feelings and emotions are very strong. They are impulsive and unpredictable. We must be constantly on our guard. We must always maintain our own personalities. Our superior minds must at all times be in complete control. It was just a moment of weakness. In this world, wars have been lost and empires destroyed through moments of weakness. The mummy is our ideal. His heart is dried up. It doesn't feel, doesn't live. 
doesn't beat. He's a cop who walks and obeys. Tomorrow I shall go to see the other ideal creature, the bee aided by Phalanxalan. He too has no heart, no blood, no feeling. Only a brain that obeys. His power is electricity. But we shall make him even more powerful with our atomic sources of energy. I shall take Valdemar with me. You and Kirian can look after things here. Maleva. Maleva. Oh, Kyrian. Kyrian. Well? I just got the lab report on the girl who was murdered near the nightclub. So? The strands of hair that we found under her fingernails weren't human. They came from some kind of animal. Yes, well, that about clinches it. We'll head for Blaustadt immediately. There's something there I've got to check. Ilsa will go with us. I don't want to leave her here alone. She can stay at Superintendent Gluck's. Good. She'll be safe there? She will.
Merely a test. We shall soon find out if he obeys orders. said that was merely a test. The results couldn't have been better. Ilona, it will soon be the full moon. Give Valdemar his injection and make it a double dose. Yes. That was a cruel test. Cruel? In our dying world, no one is cruel, nor unjust. We're struggling for survival. We kill or we die. There's no other choice. I'm afraid the system of reincarnating the beings of this planet will create problems. Make us susceptible to psychic changes. Why are you helping me? I... I really don't know. I think because I'm a woman. But you're a slave of Varnoff. I'm not anymore a slave. Let's go now. Don't be afraid. I'm not here to stop you. Go. Go on. Yes, sir? 
Vodka. Give me another. The other night, when I held you in my arms, I felt a strange sensation. Something indefinite, haunting. I know what you mean. Well, as if we'd loved each other previously. It's like something half forgotten. Like a faraway memory. Turning again, isn't it? Perhaps it's the passion, the weakness, Dr. Varnoff warned us about. Stay there. I'll be right over. Now look, Ilsa. Why aren't you at Gluck's house? I'm tired of being locked up like a prisoner. What's going on? My father won't tell me anything. Your father has a very good reason. We don't want you staying here alone. I'm not alone now, am I? Oh, I do think I called you. This is not intended as a punishment, although you might well deserve one. You allowed Elona and Valdemar to escape. We'll never accomplish our mission if you act irrationally. 
if you let yourself be dominated by emotion. Do you understand why I must do this to you? Yes. I'm a woman with a woman's intuition. You will have to do it for the same reason you killed Kyrian. You were jealous of him. That's why you want me to forget him. You yourself have become contaminated. You also love. Can you forget? You'd better get dressed. Superintendent Gluck. Oh, Superintendent? No, no, no. She's all right. She's at her own house. How do I know? Well, uh, you'd better get up and get dressed. No, no, no. She's all right, Chief. Get dressed. I'll assume full responsibility. Get dressed. No, Chief. No, no, no. I haven't been drinking. No, sir. Uh, one other thing. I found out last night that some strange foreigner bought the monastery. Uh, yes, sir, that's right. Uh, Dr. Varnoff. I think we ought to check it out. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Ilza, will you please get dressed? Don't you like me without freckles? With or without freckles, you're going back to Gluck's... I found out Sternberg's address. He's the district judge. You've decided. If you're caught, you'll be arrested. You know that. I know. I'm cursed. We've no future. No. There's none. There's no future. I can only find peace. If a silver bullet is... Is fired by a woman who loves you enough to die with you. It's strange. Since I was a small child, I've always dreamed. Please come in. Dr. Varnoff is waiting for you. We're about to receive a visit from one of your people. One of my people. In a sense. The system of incarnation is not perfect. There's a flaw somewhere. Something of the alien race remains. 
certain sensitivity to physical contact, perhaps an imperceptible reflex to tones of voice, to the expression of the eyes, something I cannot quite define. Do you think of me as an enemy? No. You're an individual under my domination, which is quite different from being an enemy. This way. Point 0.287. Shall I accelerate the reaction? Yes, do that. Point 0.87. Two cubic centimeters. Uh, Good afternoon, Inspector Toberman. Good afternoon, Dr. Varnoff. I think we've met before. Yes, at the Golden Egg. Uh, forgive me if I don't receive you personally, but as you can see, I'm extremely busy. Yeah. I know why. And your suspicions are well-founded. But you're still not quite certain. Am I mistaken? Of us to assume that the Earth is uh, the only inhabited planet in the universe. And what of the legends of vampires, werewolves, the Frank Salem monster? What's your opinion? Many fantasies are being transformed into reality by modern science. Transplants of heart and kidney, the cornea, perhaps in the near future, even the brain. I have no doubt it'll soon be possible to create a Franxelin monster. Our race mastered these techniques centuries ago. That's our mission here, to study the manufacture of monsters who will destroy mankind without exposing ourselves to danger. Supposing this to be true, why are you exposing yourself to me now? Because I know the future, including yours. Are you curious to know what will happen tonight, Inspector Toberman? Hmm. You recognize her? Ilsa. Vanoff, I positive factor. And now the most interesting point. Observe. You're not the first individual who has meddled with my plans. These bones are all that remain of the other intruders. Observe the sleeping bats. They will awake, they'll fly around you, and when they sense you're defenseless, they will attack your eyes, till nothing remains but two bloody sockets. Incredible, isn't it? Yes, exactly that. Superintendent Gluck, we and all the people of this town are extremely concerned. Not one of these recent murder cases has been solved by your department. Furthermore, this Dr. Varnoff... Mr. Mayor, one of my best men, Inspector Toberman, is in charge of these cases, and I'm just expecting a report from him. Gentlemen, I have some information which until now I have concealed for personal reasons. And as you realize, I have more interest in this matter than any of you since it is my daughter who has disappeared. Judge Sternberg, we're doing everything in our power to find your daughter, assuming that her absence isn't of her own volition. What is this information? Why haven't you divulged it? Because nobody would believe me. Mr. Mayor, you recall Waldemar Daninsky? Well, he's still alive. I've seen him and talked to him. He has something to do with what is happening at the monastery. Mr. Gluck, we haven't time to waste on legal technicalities. 
All right. We'll pay a visit to that monastery. And anybody who wants to come along will obey my orders. Is that clearly understood? Ilza! 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 Ilza!
going to arrest Dr. Varnoff. No comment. longer able to control them. Phalanxolin. Take a position surrounding the monastery. Dr. Varna, if you do not leave the monastery immediately, we shall enter by force if necessary.
Keep back there. trapped. When those two clouds of gas meet, it is pointless to try to escape, Dr. Varnoff. You must pay the price of failure. Have you anything useful to inform us? Yes. We won't be able to destroy them. The passion which we believed was their weakness is what makes them really strong. Stronger perhaps than their nuclear weapons. Can we eliminate these feelings? Possibly. But then would life be worth living? We must survive. We shall try other methods. Anything else? Yes, well, I'm entirely responsible for the failure. Can she be spared? You are forgetting that Dr. Kerstein has ceased to live on Earth. to sacrifice themselves for others, nothing will destroy us. Mm -hmm. 